Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're in Porter, Texas, rolling into Betts Art Foundry, where they create some really awesome bronze sculptures. I bet you didn't know, there's a lot of welding involved, too. Let's check it out. And we're here with the artist herself, Miss Lori Betts at Betts Art Foundry. Miss Lori, you've got a wonderful studio here. So I hear you got started in welding school, is that right? Well, I uh, went to the University of Texas and I studied studio art. I wanted to be a sculptor. And at the time, I wanted to work in metal. I've progressed into bronze, but I didn't start there. I started with welding. And yeah, this one right here, right? This is the yeah. first sculpture? This is one of the first sculptures I welded. I used a MIG and I used coat hangers. Nothing but coat hangers. Coat hangers and a MIG. So and you had a coat hanger in one hand and a gun in the other. That's some Texas TIG right there, if yeah. I've ever heard it. Well, it was a way to lay down a lot of metal really fast. I imagine so. I met a uh, foundry master, Miguel, and he said, you want to do the foundry work with me? And I said, absolutely. So then I progressed into doing the hot metal. You got into casting and everything. What is the casting process? How many different processes are there about going to make a mold? As you know, you came over and we cast your face. Right. We start with a mold and we pour wax in it. It's called the lost wax method. So we pull a wax replica and that's what we add sprues and cups and you'll see that later when we pour why those things are important we dip the wax into a slurry and we dust it with a silica sand to create a shell okay and then we melt the wax out and that shell is what we pour the bronze into and this is where the welding comes in because these are all done in pieces right if you do something really big you can but you know how metal is. It's going to cool in one spot oh, faster yeah. than the other. So you might have some cave-ins or collapses. Or and warping. Holes, porosity type stuff. Right. It's actually better to do it in, in kind of smaller pieces. So there is welding involved when it comes to lots, after the casting. Lots of welding. What kind involved. of welding is it? Well, we use TIG. It's kind of interesting because most of the guys I get that come to weld, they've got experience with doing pipe welding. And they do these beautiful, nice, big... Big, big old wees, and they're yeah. all pretty and colorful, but it's not bronze. Bronze is very soft, and I have to do the cleanup on the welds. I want them nice and flat. Nice and flat. Little sanding, little as grinding as possible. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I wanted to, you know, get some advice from you is like to let people know that there's more out there than those pipe weldings or that there's just plate yeah. weldings. Like there's, there's more opportunity out there for a welder to branch out into something different. Yeah, absolutely. Even if it's just they want a creative outlet in their spare time, but they could parlay that into a job. One of the largest foundries in the United States is located in Austin, Texas. He hires welders all day long. Now y'all yeah. know that you can get a welding job at a foundry yeah. sticking some bronze together. I mean, yeah. I would have never known. Thank What's you. your favorite piece of public art you got out there? Probably the one I did for uh, League City. It's JC League, and he's really big, and I got to do his dog. <laughs> I love the dog. JC Lee's cool, but I just I love the, the dog. The dog is really and cool. now the dog's kind of their mascot, and they put the dog in all kinds of different places, so that's fun. That's awesome. I'm super stoked. We're going to pour up some molten metal, or at least you're going to make you're me do gonna it. You're going to pour some molten metal. Yeah, <laughs> no. it's going to be fun. We're gonna walk on back where all the melting of the bronze is going to be done. And if we're gonna be slinging molten metal at 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, I gotta get with Frank so that we can do a dry run and understand the process and how this all gets done because I've never done this before and there's a lot of safety involved. We've gotta know the right steps. Got the crucible right here. This thing will be rolling thunder, right? Right. It's gonna be boiling up some bricks. 2100 degrees? 2100 degrees. That's about it. 2150. Just really, just really freaking hot. So then we'll pull this guy back, huh? Pull this over. I get, the, just, I get the, the sticks. All right, go down. All, all the way down. All the way? The hips. <laughs> and then I'll undo this, and then you come up. Yep. And then I'll get this out of the way. Okay. Set it over here. Okay, whoa. Now we'll just come over here. And you're gonna pull up. 
pour it in there. You'll probably have to come up about that high because the pot's only going to be about half full. Right. Okay. Maybe even a little higher. Okay. And then whatever's left, we'll go over there to those and dump it out. All right. Let's fire this thing up. A little cardboard with a little WD-40 on it. There she goes. While we're turning those big old bricks to molten metal, Lori told me about that y'all built a lot of your equipment here. This is your homemade kiln? Yes, sir. This is, it's, uh, we found it at a scrap yard. What I is think, it? I, I think it was used for mixing huge batches of food or something. If you guys know what this is, so. maybe you guys can let us know in the comments. But y'all just cut a big hole in it and made it, put doors it up to some propane. And, put what? doors on it, built a little frame under it. We use it for burning the wax out of the shells. So which, that's where the wax gets burnt out and melts down there. And then yeah, Lori you, was telling me you can't pour hot metal into a cold mold. So we got to heat these things up. Correct. Hey, build your own. You don't need to buy nothing. <laughs> so right now we're adding lithium to the pot. Lithium and a bit of glass. What that's going to end up doing, that lithium is going to sink to the bottom of the boil. And then it's going to move up and push all those impurities to the top. And we add that glass on the top of it, just like a bottle of vodka you can toss in there. And what that glass is going to do is form a protective coating, almost like slag in a way, where all that lithium pushes all the bad stuff to the top, and the glass catches it and it sticks to it, so that we got a nice, clean bronze to pour. All right. Get suited up, get all your PPE on. I bet Cayman never had their 1540s in a and a video on casting bronze. Ooh. I wonder how many gloves they actually go through. Look at all the gloves and all the heat protection. I bet they burn that stuff up often. That's a use for a multi-pad I've never really seen. Cut off the gas. Yeah. Woo, that's hot, dude. <laughs> it is hot. Stay in. Stay in. Stay in. Stay in. Yeah, that's right. way more intimidating when it's hot. Uh. You gotta be a little bit. Huh? Okay, that's good. Well. Get that stirry stick out. Get your pooper scooper. <laughs> So we got some glass on top. See how it almost acts like a mop? Oh wow, yeah it just sticks right to it. <laughs> so, That's all that bad stuff, huh? Yeah, well it's a new crucible, so. I feel this right through my jeans, my boots, everything. Oh, yeah. Head to toe it feels hot. All right, up. Up, 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 Oh man, that is cool. There goes your face. Dude, that's hot. It's like standing next to the sun. Things kind of cooled off. I mean, this thing is still still piping hot, man, but we're gonna use this little air hammer and just tippity tap away. That stuff's on there, man. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, what a handsome fella. <laughs> it's a cheap. Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas, man. Let's get that back after it with the hammer. Ooh, that's my finger. like hanging on to a 300 degree piece of bronze right now. 
Hey, that's pretty all right right there. That's, that's uncanny. Oh yeah, look at the detail. Look at the finish, the patina work. Stay tuned for part two where we go over all that, how we got the nice sand finish and patina on my face here, as well as how we TIG weld these bronze sculptures together. And then Miss Lori is gonna tell you how you can get involved in doing your own bronze sculptures there at her place at the Betts Art Foundry. So stay tuned for part two on this episode. Thanks for watching, guys.